just a necessity uh, for the internet to progress itself to a decentralized state. As we heard from blockchain to Web3, almost everything on the internet can be and is already going to be decentralized. But there's one point, one central point of the internet, which is not decentralized just yet. The name and numbers, IP address and the domain names. This part of the internet leave a potential huge vulnerability as a central power point and subject to grab by power hungry individuals and institutions. So it's just necessary for all the business on the internet for progression of one single internet to have no centralized power point where a single bit of the internet is made by its own mind to preserve the very thing which we hold so dear with one single internet. Otherwise, internet might be fragmented to a stage where different countries have different internet, have duplicated numbers and names, and they don't agree with each other, like we see for almost everything else in our life. So it's just a necessity for the future progression of the internet. We want internet to be free, belong to the people who use it, I understand the founders of the internet don't have a choice because they just don't have the technology to decentralize it. But now we have the technology. And also because the internet has grown from a novel nerd's game to a massive modern utility, it's become necessary to decentralize it. And we must. The commercialization of the number and name has been existed for over decades. The ship of should we have a commercialized uh, or commodity-like uh, market for both name and numbers, IP address and domain names has sailed a long, long time ago. And that is not what I'm advocating for because it's already there. What I'm advocating for is decentralize them, let the people actually owning them, rather than subject to a centralized institution where power is, power could be potentially grabbed and abused and receptible to corruptions. And any of those things could potentially endanger the one internet we have today. I believe the internet is safe with everyone. The internet is safe when everybody owns their own registration, everybody runs their piece of the internet, and there is no centralized power where it could potentially receptible to unstable grab. The only thing which actually change is if the current situation stays centralized, as been demonstrated by uh, some of the registries, such as Afrinic or APNIC, that it's a great danger to the internet if the management of those centralized institutions go wrong, if they start to leverage their monopoly in the registration database towards companies, nations, even end users, we might not have one internet as we have today. You would not want to have countries sign bilateral agreement in order to connect each other to the internet. We want the internet to stay open, free, and most importantly, one. Because IPv6, which has two powers 128, it has more numbers than every cent on Earth, is free accessible to every single person. Because of vast number and, and the nature of infinity of that number, there's no danger for anyone lose access because of the pricing. 
IPv4 internet will eventually transfer to IPv6. Yes, IPv4 today is a scarce resource. As every industry expert would tell you, that's a temporary situation. And already, 80% of the backbone of the, of the internet, most majority of the service on the internet, such as Google, YouTube, they are accessible in IPv6. So, no, I disagree that anyone's rights to access the internet will be taken away. If anything, the cost of number is minuscule compared to the cost of device, the cost of fiber link, the cost of your mobile plan. As an example, an IP address today, even on IPv4 internet, costs you a few dollars a year. That is far less than the barriers than any of your end device. For example, your mobile phone could be hundreds of dollars. Your mobile subscription plan could be tens of dollars a month. IP address is not the barrier for the access because it's so minuscule to the total package needed to access the internet in the first place. As a matter of fact, that people are realizing the dangers that more and more businesses and more and more government I talk to that recognize the only sensible way for us as a human to move forward is a decentralized internet where everybody makes decisions of their own. Making money was never my primary goal, and I don't believe anyone in the entrepreneur world has making money being their solo goal actually made a lot of money. If you look at the top billionaire list, every single one of them, especially in the technology field, are made something they truly believe in and money is a consequential of their goal. It's not the goal itself. Because at the end of the day, the market will exist with or without it centralization with or without this reform. But what will not exist is one single internet free, open access for all. And that is something when you think about for our next generation. The loser of a centralized internet is potentially those person trying to utilize those power. When there's a concentration of power, there are people after that. And whoever after that concentrated power trying, trying to abuse it, they lose, obviously. But I don't think there's any sadness on that. Everything must be saved before we reach a state of decentralization. After decentralization, the regional internet registry might or might not be needed anymore because there's no reason for them to be here to guarantee the uniqueness. But before that happens, in order for internet to function, the file IR must stay stable and be saved. It's in everybody's interest, including mine. I made my business early days when I was at a very young age. And uh, yeah, I started to sell game cards and provide connectivity to people. And uh, I have been rather lucky. And uh, I've spent most of my life doing internet-related business. And the rest is really public history. I mean, you can just read in our corporate website, for example. It's not particularly remarkable or interesting. It's actually quite unremarkable. I'm just an internet nerd and advocate what I believe would be better for the humanity.